Tillman here with an encouraging word for you today from my devotional TGIF, Today God is First. Today's message is called A Shoe Salesman. Matthew 19.26 says, Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. D.L. Moody was a poorly educated, unordained shoe salesman who felt God's call to preach the gospel. Early one morning, he and some friends gathered in a hayfield for a season of prayer, confession, and consecration. His friend Henry Varley said, The world has yet to see what God can do with and for and through and in a man who is fully and wholly consecrated to God. Moody was deeply moved by these words. He later went to a meeting where Charles Spurgeon was speaking, and in that meeting Moody recalled the words spoken by his friend. The world had yet to see with and for and through and in a man. Varley meant any man. Varley didn't say he had to be educated or brilliant or anything else, just a man. Well, by the Holy Spirit in him, he'd be one of those men. Then suddenly in that high gallery, he saw something he'd never realized before. It was not Mr. Spurgeon at all who was doing that work. It was God. And if God could use Mr. Spurgeon, why should he not use the rest of us? And why should we not all lay ourselves at the master's feet and say to him, send me, use me. D.L. Moody was an extraordinary, ordinary man who sought to be fully and wholly committed to Christ. God did extraordinary things through this ordinary man. Moody became one of the great evangelists of modern times. He founded a Bible college, Moody Bible Institute in Chicago, which sends out men and women trained in service for God. Are you an ordinary man or woman in whom God wants to do extraordinary things? God desires that for every child of His, ask God to do extraordinary things things in your life. Begin today to trust Him to accomplish great things for His kingdom through you. You know, I've spoken at Moody Bible Institute in Chicago several times. I've been on their radio station several times. And what a testimony to one man's life who made that step and made that commitment to Christ fully. I often ask people, Are you willing to give God permission to do anything in your life if it means fulfilling every aspect of your life in God's way? And I want to encourage you with that today, that invite Christ to do anything he needs to do in order to fulfill your purpose. And uh, you'll be surprised what might happen with that simple prayer. Father, we thank you for the life of D.L. Moody. And what an example, Lord, he is of faith and obedience and how you use that life in such dramatic ways. Give us the faith and give us the courage to step into the larger story of our life if we're not currently doing it. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day.